Hi, I'm Jeff Mossman, Application Engineer here at Avanta. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install terminating resistors on an RS-485 network. Terminating resistors are always a good idea when using RS-485 as your communication line. They can help to eliminate harmful noise in your data signal, which can lead to corruption, data loss, and freezing. The uh, NetTech products we'll be using today are an Atom 4068 relay module, a Atom 4561 USB to serial converter, the Uno 2174 Atom powered automation PC, and the FPM 5150 industrial grade touch monitor. The exact resistor value needed for your network will vary depending on your wiring, but for our example we'll be using 120 ohms. 120 ohms is a good value to start with if you're not really sure. Uh, please visit the link in our description for details on how to fine-tune your resistor value. Now the procedure is pretty simple. You'll need to connect one resistor across the plus and minus data signal uh, for each end of the line. You can do this a lot of different ways, but for our video we'll connect directly to the terminating blocks of our modules. So you'll want to attach one here at the as close to the RS-485 output as possible and attach one at the end of the line after your last unit. Please note that uh, in our setup we only have uh, two modules uh, beginning and the end. Uh, any modules in between you do not want to hook up uh, terminating resistors to, only the beginning and the end of the line. Your RS-485 network should be much more stable now. Congratulations, it works! This will conclude our demonstration of how to install terminating resistors on an RS-485 network, part of our Advantech iPlanet series. To learn more about the products you've seen today, please visit buy.advantech.com. Thanks for watching!